At the Bellevue Country Club in Syracuse, there's almost 150 golfers that paid a hefty price to play today. This time, the pricey fee goes towards more than teeing off on the prestigious course. I'm the Make Wish Foundation since, uh, well, mostly during college, the local chapter at uh, Cornell University. Um, so I've always been familiar with Make a Wish. I think it's a great, uh, a great program, great charity. Year. So our goal today, we hope to raise at least twenty-five thousand dollars to help Make Wishes come true. Despite the cold and the rain, more than one hundred and forty-four golfers showed up to play at Bellevue Country Club in the rain for the Make a Wish Foundation. <laughs> today, the wish they're helping to support is for a ten-year-old boy named Benjamin Russell. He did have an illness that qualified him for our services, and he had a shopping spree that he is just thrilled about. Do you, know you know, when kids come to Make-A-Wish Foundation, we forget about their illness. We forget about what qualified them, and we just focus on helping them be a kid again, be normal for a day or a week or whatever it might be, and give them hope to look through the future. Benjamin's wish, provided by the Make-A-Wish Foundation, allowed him to shop for a skateboard and video games and all of it was given in the spirit of fun. It's a lot of fun, a lot of camaraderie, and um, just a great get-together and a great way to just raise money and, and help children at the same time. First time it's raining for them, unfortunately, but I don't think it's going to stop anybody. At 28 years in a row, this tournament is the Make-A-Wish Foundation's longest-running fundraiser in the area. Tara DeSantis, NCC News.